Oh, do applicants ever get rejected? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Look, if they get rejected, I suck at my job. Well, even if they have no money? Well, my, my firm offers uh, ninja loans. Oh, yeah. No income, no, no job. No, I just leave the income section blank if I want. Corporate doesn't care. I'm a CDO manager. A CDO yeah. manager? Yeah, the Harding Advisors. I didn't realize that there was anything to manage with CDOs. No. Okay. Well, we select the securities that go into the CDO portfolio and monitor the assets. I do most of Merrill Lynch CDOs. Do you represent the investors or Merrill Lynch? The investors. You do? Yeah. But Merrill Lynch isn't going to send you any customers unless you put Merrill Lynch's bonds in your CDO. Good question. Let's just say Merrill and I have a... We have a good relationship. You have a good relationship yeah. with Merrill Lynch. I've been to, we've been doing business together for a And long so time. the CDOs that you create are of, of the highest quality and the highest value. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yep. Are you at all concerned about the rising default rates? I assume no risk for these products myself, Mark. Okay. So let me get this straight. The bank calls you up. They give you the bonds they want to sell. They give you clients. They give you money to run your business. They give you fat fees for doing so. But you represent the investors? Is that right? Yeah. Illusional. Georgia, we stand behind have you ever refused to rate any of these bonds upper tranches AAA? If we don't give them the ratings, they'll go to Moody's. Right down the block. If we don't work with them, they will go to our competitors. Not our fault, simply the way the world works. In the years that followed, hundreds of bankers and rating agencies executives went to jail. The SEC was completely overhauled, and Congress had no choice but to break up the big banks and regulate the mortgage and derivatives industries. Banks took the money the American people gave them and they used it to pay themselves huge bonuses and lobby the Congress to kill big reform. And then they blamed immigrants and poor people. And this time, even teachers. And when all was said and done, only one single banker went to jail. This poor schmuck, Kareem Sarah Geldin from Credit Suisse. He hit a few billion in mortgage bond losses, something most of the big banks did on a good day during the crisis. <laughs> 